What's up guys, welcome to your Bitcoin update. Today we got lots of stuff to talk about. One thing, Prime XBT has teamed up with Paxful to make it easier way to purchase your Bitcoin for trading. Also, we're gonna be taking a look at the Dow Jones. We're gonna take a look at gold. We're gonna take a look at that dollar index, which has been pointing at a possible Bitcoin dump. Also, gonna take a look at the XRP chart at the end. Don't forget, we have a free Discord group. There's a link below in the description. Definitely check it out. It's an awesome community, totally free, and let's get into it. All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. And don't forget, we do a free Ledger Nano S giveaway. You can either pick the Ledger Nano S or $50 in Bitcoin. We do it every Sunday. All you have to do to enter to win is make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up, leave your comment down below. That will get you entered to win and share the video if you would. Also, let's get into the dollar jones real quick we've been watching this top trend line where it does look like we had a bull trap popped above it we are creating bearish divergence lower highs in the rsi higher highs in the price action let's look at that trend line we've been watching the dow is not quite open yet i started this video a little too soon but um pre-market showing a dump so we are Definitely going to be below this trend line. If we open and close below this trend line today, that's going to be extremely bad for the Dow, in my opinion. We've been talking about this on this channel for a long time. So um, the trend line for today is going to sit at the 3,000 or 30,970 range. A close below that is going to be extremely bearish after today. I have a feeling we will. Gold, we're still looking for the 1736 target. If that breaks, then we're looking at the 1647 area. If you guys are interested in trading, definitely check out Prime XBT. Like I said, they have uh, made a new part partnership with Paxful. Great exchange. You can set up multiple charts on one screen using, you know, different hour or different time frames or different assets, however you want to set it up. Um, you can also trade... Bitcoin, EOS, Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP, Forex, Gold, Silver, Oil, um, S&P, Dow Jones, everything all on one exchange. Definitely check it out. It's by far my favorite exchange. They don't trade against you. You don't see all the scam wicks you see on other exchanges. And you can use my promo code SAVVY50. We'll get you 50% on top of whatever you deposit as a bonus up to one Bitcoin to use towards your margin. Savvy25 will get you 25% off of your fees. You can use both promo codes at the same time. And this is the Paxful partnership they did. Paxful is a leading peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency marketplace where buyers and sellers of Bitcoin, so it's peer-to-peer. -peer. You're actually buying and selling to other people. Um, you're connected. Paxful offers 300 payment met methods available to ensure easy to find suitable offers along with the escrow system and dedicated 24-7 customer support. So they have teamed up. It's right on Prime XBT. Um, when you go to purchase or sell Bitcoin, you can link up to Paxful and do it straight from there and make it peer-to-peer. -peer. Definitely great news for Prime XBT. Great job, Prime. And let's look at the monthly. Look at that monthly candle. That is extremely ugly. We would need one serious pump. Um, to, before the end of the month, which is in a few days, uh, we would need a hell of a pump to make this candle look anywhere near safe. So keep that in mind. This is what we've been watching here. As you can see in the 2017 bull market hype speculative bubble, we broke out of this rising channel, came back down and broke through it. Took about a year. That was bear market and like i said yesterday if we look at the rsi on the daily we had confirmation right here when we broke this trend line that the bear market had started yes we came up to retest it got rejected and came back down that was up in this area right around uh 17,500 ish um but as you can see the second hump on this rising wedge before we broke out if you draw a trend line across there once we broke through that, we capitulated, and we did the same thing over here in 2019. Once we broke through here, that was sign of the bear market. We did come up, 
for one more test, which was right here of the trend line. But again, it was confirmed at the break of this trend line. And same thing, if we went off the second touch at the top of this rising channel where the breakout began for the hype speculative bubble, um, we, once we came down, we capitulated past it. If we do the same thing here, which I think there's a pretty good chance of, as you can see, we broke that trend line. And if we look at the second hump in the rising channel, go over, that would put us down to around any under 10,000. Um, so let's say 9,500 to 3,500, somewhere in that range is a possibility. Again, this doesn't have to happen, but guys, this is extremely bearish looking here. And like I said, on the daily RSI, every time we cross that trend line from this hype speculative bubble, it popped. Um, that doesn't mean we can't come back up to the 35, 30 to $37,000 range again to come up and retest this trend line. Um, the only way that this would be invalid is if we break up above this trend line again and get support on it. Then we could get this one more leg up that everybody is expecting. Now, let's take a... I showed this yesterday in yesterday's video. This could be one, two, three, four, five. Could come down to that 12.5 zone. And that doesn't mean it goes down there today. It doesn't mean it goes down there next week. This takes time. The chart... This is the daily chart. But that would make sense coming down to retest that area. And we could bounce around the 12.5, just like we bounced around the 6,000 here. Just like we bounced around the 6,000 again over here. 12.5 could be the next or the new 6,000 before coming down and testing the 12.5 area, breaking through and capitulating. So be careful, be cautious. Guys are trading, make sure you use stops. Don't put in more money than you're willing to use and don't do crazy high leverage unless you know what you're doing. Um, so we've been watching this trend line up top. This moves over again today. So we would have to break through the 35,800 in the next day or so to break up out of this and become bullish again. Then that would get us to around the $49,000 range if that was to happen. But I do think we are coming down back to these levels, probably test the 28,000 again, maybe get a bounce, break back down past that, head towards the 20,800, get another fake out, which would be a wave four up to 28.2 or so, and then back on down to that 12.5. And this could end up being A, then we get a B back up to the $30,000 range and continue down. Be careful, guys. Um, dollar index, we've been watching this forever and it does look like it is finally break out, breaking out. If we close a three day RSI outside of this wedge, it is confirmed that the dollar is going to go up and that will drag the Bitcoin down. And as I've been talking about, as the dollar goes up, people get out of assets. Most of the markets will crash because people will be selling their assets, getting into the dollar. That pumps the dollar. That makes the dollar strong again. And I've been talking about that happening. As you can see, even in the MACD down here, same thing. We had the, the big drop, came up, a smaller drop here, and we did the same thing over here. Now let's take a closer look at this. As you can see, this is almost a perfect identical fractal. And we are on very close to breaking out here. Um, it doesn't mean we have to today. It could be a week, could be another two weeks, but it does look like it's happening, guys. Um, has the Bitcoin bubble t popped at 42,000? I do believe so. But there is another case I'll show you after this chart. This is the dollar index overlaid on Bitcoin. As you can see, when the dollar bottoms on this bottom trend line, Bitcoin's topped. Um, if we bring it up and look at where the dollar topped, Bitcoin bottomed. Dollar topped, Bitcoin bottomed. It's pretty cut and dry, guys. All right, looking at the BLX, I know a lot of people look at the log chart and they like to draw these arcs in there. I just drew this in to show you how easily it is manipulated. This arc shows we've topped out. And this is what we've been talking about for a bullish case. People believe that Bitcoin has to continue up towards the end of the year because it's a four-year cycle. People have been programmed to believe that. I do believe that is an easy way for big money to wreck the little guys. But if that is the case, I'm looking for a bounce in June. This could be, if you look at the yellow, in the white, this is one big wave three towards the end of the year. If you look at the yellow, 
We could have finished wave three here going down for wave four. I looked for a bottom of wave four in June, somewhere between the 27.5 and 18,400. Now this is the bullish case. If we do get a bounce up in another run towards the end of the year, we could be seeing at $50,000, $49,000 Bitcoin. Um, and then obviously come down from there. If the four year cycle comes in, and the reason I say June, there's a 450 day bottom to bottom cycle I've showed in past videos, go ahead and look for it. I'm not gonna talk about it all over again, but um, as you can see, the wave two took us about six months. That would be what I expect of wave four here coming down. So um, I'm using time to figure the bottom of wave four if we remain bullish get our bounce and go up one more time for the end of the year which i think is a lot less likely now guys so again be careful and let's take a look at where we're at with the funding rate as you can see we had talked about a possible black swan um that we've seen back in here we may be seeing that Funding rate was super high. That means everybody was long up here. They got squeezed. We had a big short. And then everybody went short down here and got squeezed and went long. Right now, for the daily, the funding rate is saying we should bounce because there's a lot of shorts. But um, we could just continue one huge drop like we did over there. So be careful. Um, I'm looking at the 55 EMA on the daily is 29,300. A break and a close below that. We could be coming down to test this 200 EMA around the twenty thousand dollar range um xrp still looking for that four cents we made this chart looking at this as a five wave and it played out almost perfectly so far we made this back in december before christmas and i'm still looking for that four cents um other than that xrp is dead in my opinion um, this is my wife's webpage. If you guys are interested, inkyourimage.com, definitely check it out. It's a great way to help support the channel, along with sharing the video, hitting the likes, and leaving your comments. You can also check out her webpage. She makes a lot of cool stuff on here. She can put family pictures or Bitcoin or whatever you want on any of this stuff. She does it herself. It's quality, not garbage. Um, she can put stuff on blankets, your face masks, um, aluminum, slate, glass, uh, ornaments and then there is a crypto section with t-shirts hats and whatnot you can put anything on any of that stuff you want to thanks a lot for watching guys i appreciate you guys stopping by i appreciate the support do not forget to click the crypto savvy logo above my head to get you daily updates smash that thumbs up leave your comments below and share the video if you would get it out there help grow the channel thanks a lot guys and i'm out